Scarlett Johansson is in the news today. She is suing Disney over the Black Widow movie. Honestly, never thought I would see this coming. I thought that all the Marvel actors were like super tight with Disney, but turns out Disney uh, will screw anybody over, even their own major actors. Before we dive deep into the subject, I want to ask you guys to like the video. That really helps me out and subscribe so you can get more news updates from me. Bonus points if you join my Discord, discord.gg forward slash gamerebel. Great way to get a hold of me and give me news tips. Right down that. A statement from Scar Joe's attorney states, As Miss Johansson, Disney, Marvel, and most everyone else in Hollywood knows, a theatrical release is a release that is exclusive to movie theaters. Disney was well aware of this promise, but nonetheless directed Marvel to violate its pledge and instead release the picture on the Disney Plus streaming service the very same day it was released in movie theaters. So why is she mad that it released on both theaters and Disney Plus at the same time? It seems like more people would watch it that way, right? Well, in her contract, before they even started filming this, before the pandemic, there was a clause in there saying that she's going to get a certain percentage of theatrical release money. Now with the pandemic happening, most people are watching movies from home, so she got like a super tiny paycheck for making this movie. So I understand why she's upset. Apparently, if it released like other Marvel movies, she could have made like $50 million, which would have been insane, especially for a female actor. I don't want to get into the whole equality thing and stuff, but it like female actors just have not been making as much as male actors. And I think that someone like Scarlett Johansson is breaking through that because it's not just because, oh, she's woman, don't pay her as much. It's really, it's, as far as what I know, I could be ignorant on the issue. It's because it's just... The, the male actors bring in more audiences. They put butts in seats. And Scarlett Johansson is starting to do that. She puts butts in seats and she's a girl. So I think she should get paid if she could put butts in seats, pay her. We have a bunch of evidence that goes in ScarJo's favor. Here's a statement from the legal team at Marvel from May of the year of putting the deal together. We totally understand that Scarlett's willingness to do the film and her whole deal is based on the premise that the film would be widely theatrically released like our other pictures. We understand that should the plan change, we would need to discuss this with you and come to an understanding as the deal is based on a series of very large box office bonuses. A statement from ScarJo's legal counsel says, it's no secret that Disney is releasing films like Black Widow directly on the Disney Plus to increase subscribers and thereby boost the company's stock price, and that it's hiding behind COVID as a pretext to do so. But ignoring the contracts of the artists responsible for the success of its films and furtherance of this short-sighted strategy violates their rights, and we look forward to proving as much in court. This will surely not be the last case where Hollywood talent stand up to Disney and make it clear that whatever the company may pretend, it has a legal obligation to honor its contracts. A lot of good evidence and good legal team on ScarJo's side. However, the Walt Disney Company is so big that there are divisions of Disney that are suing Disney. So they have like the best lawyers in the world. It's going to be hard to go up against them. They're not going to make it easy. The thing that ScarJo has is public support. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on Disney. It could cost them if ScarJo turns her back on Disney and says, F you guys. And a lot of fans are like, you know what? Disney sucks because people are always going to take their favorite character and actor's side over a big multi-billion dollar conglomerate. Sometimes I'm just on a roll with talking in these videos and then one word screws me up. It's big news today. This whole lawsuit thing uh, just broke. So we're going to have to wait and see how it goes. Sometimes these things can take like a year or several years. Sometimes they go a little bit quicker. So there's no telling when we'll have a final answer on what the outcome of this is, but it is an interesting story nonetheless. Thank you guys very much for watching another episode of the feed i am pop standards hope you like the new overlay by the way this is a little bit new for me today make sure you guys like the video like i said before subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you next time oh yeah don't forget to comment down below